Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog. So we've had shortcuts in iOS 12 with Siri, but it's been extremely limited to just what we can find in the settings application. We were promised a dedicated app and now it is finally coming out in batches to developers who sign up for it and get approved. And today we are here to test out the shortcuts application for iPhone. So right away we have a shortcut splash screen which says take the shortest path, ready, set, tap, and use your voice which just of course means Siri. Go ahead and get started and here are some. So right away this looks like the files application. We have the library view and then we have a gallery which will have a few things we can go through and it looks like we have some preset ones that we can choose. You can create a new one or edit and if we go ahead and create a new one, you see you have a lot of options and this allows you to customize them exactly as you want. So for instance, I wanna create an on the go one, one that can tell Siri a shortcut and she will automatically do a few things to get me rolling to my destination. I'm going to have it open an application. I'm gonna choose the application. I'm going to have it be Maps, but I'm gonna have it be Google Maps. I'm going to have it turn up the brightness because I'll be outside for at least a little bit while I'm going to my car. I'm going to have it set to about 75% so I can make sure I can see it. I'm going to turn on do not disturb. I'm going to have it ask me how long when this program runs if I have an approximate idea of how long it is going to be. And then I'm going to have it play music. I have to grant access to music. I'm going to have it shuffle all songs with repeat off. Then once you have it ready, you will see the Add to Siri screen and you can record what you want it to be. Let's go. And there you go. You can give it your own icon and there are tons of options. So for this, I want it to be something a little bit more mobile. So we will give it the car. And we can add this to the home screen and we can have it have its own photo. So we're going to do take photo and we're going to do something completely arbitrary. So we are just going to do me. So there it is, use photo. So now my mug will be on my home screen whenever I want to go on the go. I'm going to add it to my home screen and call it let's go. And then I can add to the home screen and I can click this and boom we have basically everything that I needed to do so if I go to Siri and I say let's go you can see it starts running my command and it started playing my music so see with the let's go shortcut, I did have some issues. It would do pretty much everything I wanted to do. Uh, resuming the music, it would put on do not disturb, it would open up maps, but the brightness does not seem to be working with this command for whatever reason. Now I have another one created which I call caffeine. Now when I do this, it asks for an input. It will say Mio or pill, Mio being Mio energy or pill being a caffeine pill. When I do this, the default answer is Mio because that's what I use more often than not. Uh, but my input type is text so I can make it into pill. I have an if then sequence. So if the input equals Mio, so it has to be exactly Mio, or as in I don't change the default answer, then it will ask for how many squeezes. And I can enter in a value. I usually use three if I'm filling up a water bottle. So the input type is a number, but I can change it. Then I have a calculation option and it is a multiplier and the operand is 60 because there are 60 milligrams of caffeine per squeeze. And then I have it log a health sample type being caffeine, value being the calculation result of the previous calculation, which would be the number of squeezes times 60. And I have it logging that milligrams for the current date. Otherwise, if the answer or the value is not exactly equal to Mio, as in if it is anything else, so if I put Mio's, it'll automatically log the contents of one caffeine pill, which is 200 milligrams to the current date. So when I do this and I say caffeine, it pulls this up, it asks for Mio or pill, I say Mio because that is equal to Mio in the programming language. It'll ask how many squeezes I will say, and let's say I used not as much today, so I used two squeezes. 
the input is 120, 120 milligrams of caffeine. So when I go into health, you can see I have 120 more milligrams. I have a lot today because I've run this several times, but it logged that just like that. So it's very easy to log my caffeine and we'll test it out the other way. Caffeine. And you can see if I say me O's or I say me or I say M or if I just say pill or pills or whatever I want to put, then it will log 200 milligrams and it works just like that. So there's so many things you can do with this. I'm going to keep exploring. Uh, this is basically a programming language. It's you know similar to Java or any other language that you will have. There are if then statements, there are conditional statements, there are variables, there are calling and setting. There's a lot of different operations that will be familiar if you have programmed before. Otherwise, you can kind of just fiddle around with it. Some are much easier than others, but the abilities here are almost endless. There are so many things you can do, and I look forward to testing out shortcuts for the iPhone. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching. Leave any feedback down below for anything you want to know about this feature.